Vietnam has banned Barbie, the film, that is, the Margot Robbie starer, was due to be released there on the 21st of July, but won't be released now. Cold shower. State media reported this was because the film included a map showing unilateral Chinese claims in the South China Sea. And if you look at the trailer of the film, you just about catch a glimpse of the offending map in question momentarily. There, the world map in Barbie world with that line with the dashes on it. Now here's what those dashes look like on a real world map of the South China Sea with Chinese claims on them. The so-called nine dash line represents Beijing's version of what it believes the extent of its territory is. Only problem with that is that it's a unilateral claim that's been labelled illegal under international law and one that also encompasses territories claimed by other nations, including Vietnam. So that formed the basis of Vietnam banning the film. In fact, the state-run tour trade newspaper quoted V. Kien Than, head of the Department of Cinema, as saying... We do not grant license for the American movie Barbie to release in Vietnam because it contains the offending image of the nine dash line. That line has been the source of serious friction between China and Vietnam to the point that both have engaged in deadly armed skirmishes over the Parasol and Spratly Islands in 1974 and 1988 respectively. Both China and Vietnam claim sovereignty over these islands which fall within the nine dash line. In fact, back in May 2014, Vietnam claimed Chinese vessels rammed its ships near the Paracels. This after ships from both sides faced off against each other following China towing an oil rig into waters claimed by Vietnam. Now, just a few months back, in May, ships from both sides faced off against each other again over oil drilling at Vanguard Bank in the Spratly Islands. The animosity between both countries over sovereignty claims in the South China Sea is clear. And it's the reason Vietnam has banned movies in the past over any maps showing China's nine dash line, such as the movie Abominable in 2019. In fact, this week, Vietnam has not just banned the Barbie movie, but is also inspecting the website of K-pop group Blackpink's tour organizer. The allegation being that the site showed a map of the South China Sea with disputed boundaries. But it was the action against the Barbie film that prompted the Chinese government to issue the following statement. China's position on the South China Sea issue is clear and consistent. We believe that the relevant country should not link that issue with cultural and social matters. And joining me now for more is Gwen Khak Tsang, a visiting fellow in the Vietnam Studies program at the ISEAS Yusof Ishak Institute in Singapore. Mr. Gwen, let's talk about the offending map in the Barbie film. Does it really show unilateral Chinese claims in the South China Sea, or is it just a cinematic tool to represent Barbie's view of the world? Well, I think that's very, you know, easy, but also very complex issue to the Vietnamese authorities and also I think the Philippines authority as well. So first, before we start discussing about that, I think it's important for us to know about, you know, what is Nidash Lai and what is so important. So Nidash Lai is a vaguely concept that introduced by the Chinese authorities to claim more than 80% of the South China Sea. So basically make it like a Chinese uh, backyard. And it's very, you know, historically spaceless. And in terms of international law, it was ruled out by a 2016 uh, court rule of the uh, Permanent Court of Arbitration. So basically, right. it's a kind of like a way for, the, for, for Beijing to impose its claims on the South China Sea against other five claimants in the South China Sea. Yeah. But, but how sensitive so, an issue is this for, for, for Vietnam? So the thing is that for the nine dash line, it's not just a, you know just claims you know just the narrative by China, but they also try to create you know facts on the ground by enforcing you know its claims of using military uh, actions of intruding other countries' exclusive economic zones and harassing fishing uh, activities on Vietnamese and the Philippines' uh, exclusive waters. So because of that, 
you know, when, you know, there are something uh, that China used to legitimize its claim, whether it is, you know, fictionary like Barbies or whether it's, you know, on the maps or on books or on children toys, it makes uh, the Vietnamese and Philippines authorities feel, you know, uh, unacceptable because in some way it gives uh, China a tool to legitimize their basically its uh, claim. Right. So at the same time, you also have China becoming Vietnam's largest trading partner and it's a relationship that's only improved in the past decade, especially. How does Vietnam balance its position on Chinese claims in the South China Sea with its trade dependence on China? I think that's the very difficult question, not only for the, uh, for the Vietnamese authority, but also for other countries in Southeast Asia. Because I believe that like, all the Southeast Asian countries have China as a biggest trade partner. So for countries like Vietnam, they try to hedge the position by seeking a closer alignment to the United States and other Western countries. And they also try to create, you know, stronger partnership between middle powers and other countries in the region, like Japan, South Korea, Indonesia, and India. So they try to make a kind of like safety net in order to them to avoid being, you know, a victim of uh, Chinese coercive, uh, economic coercive uh, uh, sanctions or other uh, military, uh, you know, threatening activities by the Chinese. Uh, but of course, it's a very tough situation because when you have a very, you know, asymmetric power in relation to uh, Beijing, it's very hard for Vietnam and for countries like the Philippines to balance against China. So that's why it's very important for countries like Vietnam to, you know, to have uh, strong support by the uh, global community. And that's why uh, the thing that you see on the Barbie movie or in other movies that are banned in Vietnam because of the Nidash line, it's not because something, you know, just annoying for the uh, Vietnamese authorities, but it's something like they want to counter uh, the Chinese claims, you know, in terms of, you know, winning the global public opinion. Because when you are exposed to the Nidash line, maybe you are not supporting the Chinese claim, but you are aware that there is some kind of like dispute about that. But mm -hmm. from the perspective of Vietnam, the Nidash line, because you not, you know, cross some lines on the sea and you claim yours, because there is no dispute at all in terms of sovereignty and, uh, and maritime uh, disputes from the perspective of the Vietnamese and uh, Philippines, because what they see is that the Nidash lie is illegal in terms of international law, and there is no you know, historical basis for Beijing to claim that. What is it? Uh, what is the action that one takes when it comes to facts on the ground? And by that, I basically mean actual Chinese control of some of these disputed uh, outposts or disputed territories in the South China Sea. Is Vietnam prepared to use force to counter Chinese uh, claims uh, that are increasingly becoming militaristic? I think it's very hard for Vietnam or for any other country in Southeast Asia to counter China, you know, directly by military actions because of the power asymmetry between uh, China and the rest of Southeast Asia. So for China, they um, enforce uh, they enforce uh, two main tools in order to uh, seek control over the South China Sea. So first by what you say, you know, what they call the militarization of the South China Sea, creating artificial islands, uh, having a lot of crashing activities, and then, you know, uh, sailing a lot of uh, vessels, boat research vessels or coast guards, sailing around, venturing to other countries' exclusive economic zones and try to make, a, you know, a sovereignty claim based on those facts on the ground. So for a country like Vietnam, they have been trying to at least secure what they already have, you know, trashing uh, some other outposts that they control and trying to improve their own uh, maritime uh, capability, you know, by having uh, import, imported some uh, ships and vessels from other countries to improve their uh, coastal guards. And then by also uh, showing more uh, cooperation between Vietnam and other claimants in Southeast Asia. So they try to create some kind of like a network uh, that can help, you know, counter China, like in a united front. 
We'll have to leave it there. But thank you so much for providing all that uh, context. Gwen Khakjang from uh, the ISES, ISES, I'm sorry, Yusof Ishak Institute in Singapore. Thank you so much, sir. My pleasure.